So now let us see in detail about the plant parts as food items. Right? We discussed that the ingredients we are getting it from plants and animals. So the sources are plants and animals. Now let us see the ingredients that we are getting from a plant and different parts of a plant how they are used as food, food items. Ingredients. Here I have drawn a plant. You know the parts of a plant. You learnt it in your lower class. A plant it is having two major parts stem and roots. The part which is above the ground is stem. The part which is below the ground is the root. And on the stem there are so many things are fixed. What are they? On the stem you find leaves, flowers and fruits and seeds. You see that the root beginning with the root the roots of different plants are used as food carrot beet beetroot it is also the root carrot turnip radish see all these are the roots of different plants so there we are consuming the root the root is used as an ingredient to make a food item. The source of food is the root of the plant. So in that case, in case of a carrot plant, which part we are consuming? Root. In case of a radish, which part of the plant we are consuming? Root. Moving up, stem. Stems of different plants are consumed. If you are making some dal with green leafy vegetable, palak. Palak is a plant itself. You are cutting off the root and you are eating the stem and leaves. Dhania, you are eating that. Mithi, you are eating the total plant, stem along with the leaves. So green leafy vegetables, we eat the total stem along with the leaves. So that is the ingredient to make the food. And there are certain items we do not know that they are stems, but just they don't look like a stem. They look different. Examples like ginger. Ginger is the stem. Onion is the stem. Right. Potato is the stem. These are the stems of the plant which you are consuming. So in some plants we consume the stem. Which part of the plant you are eating? Stem. Somebody ask you, you are eating potato. Someone asked you, what are you eating? You can say that I am eating a potato. You can say that I am eating a stem. Yes, you are eating a stem. Right? Potato itself is a stem. Fruit, fruit, fruit of a plant is, it is the fruits we get. Many of the vegetables are also nothing but the fruits. Many vegetables are the fruits of the plant. Eggplant you take, Brinjal. Brinjal is nothing but the fruit. Tomato is nothing but the fruit. Of course, they do not have sugars in them. That's why they are not tasty. They are not sweet. But technically, they are the fruit. They are developed from the flower. So, the structure that is developed from the flower which store the food, you call it as a fruit. It bears the seeds. So, the fruits, vegetables, what is the difference? Most of the vegetables are fruits, but they do not have sugars. Right, apple, mango, these are the fruit with sugars, so they are tasty. Brinjal, tomato, they do not have sugars, so you need to cook and eat them. And leaf, all leafy vegetables, methi, dhania, and uh, curry leaves, curry patta, curry leaves. Flower, cauliflower, so seeds, all the grains, all the grains are seeds, grains by dals, these are all the seeds, see, coconut, nariel, it is a seed of the coconut tree. You are using the water, you are using the chopped and grated coconut in all the dishes. 
so it is the seed right so all the parts of a plant are used as a food no part is exemption here all parts of the plant are useful some or other way we are consuming all different parts of the plant in some cases we are consuming the whole plant itself in some cases we are consuming the root some cases stem some cases fruit leaf flower seed right so to make a food item say for example i am showing you here dal fry dal fry this is a food item so we know that to make a food item what you need to have ingredients so what are the ingredients here water dal oil what else you need to have spices curry leaves and uh, you need to have uh, onion onion right you need to have onion or garlic garlic or onion these things onion by garlic now let's see these are the ingredients now let us see what is this particular part water is a natural thing it is not a part of a plant so this is made up of dal fry is made up of these items dal seed of the plant oil it comes from the seed of the plant spices they come the seed of the plant or fruit curry leaves leaf of the plant leaf onion stem of the plant right stem of the plant different parts so now you can take any one of the food item just to make a list of the ingredients if you don't know ask your mom because she is an expert in doing that she'll be making so many items for you every day take one of your favorite item ask what are the ingredients to make the item now identify from which part of the plant they are which particular part of the plant is that ingredient identify it so and fill the table so then you will be totally aware of the concept here what are the different parts of the plant that we are using as an ingredient for our food items so now let us see the plant ingredients we have seen certain here are some specific items like sprouts honey these are the plant ingredients but but with a very little modification they are changed to a different taste and a value sprouts are nothing but the seeds which are soaked overnight when the seeds are soaked overnight they produce a small baby root which are called as sprouts the dry seeds you cannot eat them raw they are not tasty and not easy to digest you cannot chew them also but without cooking them simply by putting them in water or in a moist cloth you can make the sprouts come out of the seeds sprouts sprout is a seed which has given out a baby root moong dal chana these two are generally used to make the sprouts the sprouts are very nutritious you have plenty of amino acids and vitamins in the sprouts that help us your body building and for good health they help us a lot so it is advisable to eat the sprouts so how do you get the sprouts 
that is by soaking the seeds in water you get the sprouts. So, they have very good nutritive value which is a very simple thing that you make. You yourself can make it, you do not need a fire, flame, stove, nothing else. What you need is that take some seeds, soak them in the water for overnight. The next day you will find the sprouts. The other thing honey, honey is from the nectar, this nectar is from the flowers. But in this case, we are not doing anything, it is all done by the honeybees. So, what do these honeybees they do? The honeybees they collect the nectar from the flowers, right? The nectar is collected from the flower, it is a sweet smelling liquid. Nectar is nothing but the sweet smelling liquid which contains sugars. If the nectar is stored in the same way as a nectar, it gets spoiled, decomposed by bacteria and microorganisms. So, what the honeybees does? They add some enzymes to the nectar and make the nectar to honey. Now, the honey is preserved, it is not spoiled by organisms. The honey is preserved in the beehive. Honeybees they keep the honey in the beehive, beehive. Beehive is the home of honeybees which is having so many small pocket like rooms and the honeybees they make it with the wax, bee wax. So, in the beehive the honey is stored. So, it is it is also very nutritious rich in vitamins and minerals which is obtained naturally. What is the source plant? It is made, we are not making it, it is naturally made by honeybees, right. So, these are the different ingredients that we obtain from the plants. Now, let us see animals and their food. What do animals eat? So, now let us see what do animals eat. So, we discussed that the food is available in the nature that is obtained from two sources plants and animals. If it is for animals or for the humans, the sources are these two plants and animals, right. Here I have a list of animals, for these animals the food is obtained from these sources either plants or animals, but they have some choices. Animals you see that certain animals they eat certain kind of food, they do not eat all types of food, right. See the cow. What does it eat? A cow, it eats the plants, grass, grains, husk, grey, oil seed cake. These are the foods that are eaten by the cow. It eats leaves, grass, that is the main food of cow. It does not eat any other animal. It eats only the plant foods. The next one is tiger. Tiger eats animals. Tiger is a predator, it hunt the other animals and take it as a food, deer and other small animals are hunted by the tiger. Rat, a rat eats grains, in the field you see or in the house you see, in your kitchen if there are any rats they are spoiling the grains, rice and other grains. At the same time the rat it will eat some other animal flesh also might be the dead animal or any live animal. So, rat it eat both the plant as well as animal food and the next one is cat, a cat it drinks milk and it eat other small birds and you see the goat, it eat only the grass and leaves, a snake. A snake it will eat the other small animals. So, likewise animals they have their food choices, they eat either plant or animal foods, some animals they eat both plant as well as animal foods. So, on basing their food habit they are categorized to 
herbivores or the animals which eat only plants. Carnivores or the animals which eat only animals. Omnivores or the animals which eat both both plants and animals. Right? So, this is how animals eat their food, choose their food. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.